Hello, my name is Derek Kinder, and I'm a hydraulic engineer with the Risk Management Center. In this lecture, we are going to discuss iterative sensitivity analysis for RMC RFA projects. Let's get started. The objective of this lecture is to discuss iterative sensitivity analysis for an RMC RFA project. This includes sensitivities for critical duration, inflow hydrograph shapes, flow frequency inputs, seasonality, and reservoir starting stage. These are examples and each project will have its own unique sensitivities that should be identified and performed. What if we have multiple driving event types for a project? Look at this example to see if you can identify which critical duration would most likely correspond to the driving mechanism of extreme floods for this watershed. Is it a rainfall event with a critical duration on the order of a week? Or is it a rain on snow melt event with a critical duration on the order of a month? When you are faced with varying critical durations, consider a sensitivity analysis that looks at different durations and compare the results to assess which duration makes the most sense in the context of the observed events and our understanding of typical large flood events in the region. Evaluating the sensitivity of the stage frequency curve at critical locations, such as the top of dam, can also help inform your judgment on which critical duration to use for the final analysis. When evaluating multiple critical durations, be sure the selected hydrograph shapes are representative of the durations being evaluated. If your project has limited data for observed hydrographs or has never seen a significant flood event, Consider including synthetic hydrograph shapes, such as a probable maximum flood hydrograph, to account for the hydrograph shapes that might occur during an extreme flood. Effective record length and the skew parameter are probably the two most important inputs for the volume frequency curve. Skew affects the tail of the distribution at rare annual exceedance probabilities, and effective record length affects the mean hazard curve. Since these inputs also tend to be uncertain, it is good practice to evaluate the sensitivity of the results to these inputs. The volume frequency curve parameters and effective record length can sometimes be sensitive to the choices we made in our best fit frequency analysis. How we select our perception thresholds and estimate flow intervals for historic events can impact the shape of our inflow volume curve. Sensitivities on this information can be developed and run in RMC RFA to evaluate how sensitive the stage frequency is to the flow frequency inputs. In some cases, you may want to evaluate sensitivity to flood seasonality. If the monthly stage duration curves vary significantly, then consider checking sensitivity to the flood seasonality. If not, then seasonality and stage duration likely won't be impactful. You should now have an understanding of iterative sensitivity analysis that can be completed for an RMC RFA project. This includes sensitivities for critical duration, inflow hydrograph shapes, flow frequency inputs, seasonality, and reservoir starting stage.